Hello there, Above Average fam. Welcome back in. I am Above Average Cody, and it's time to get back into some more chilling rain. As you can see, I'm still taking cracks at elite trainer boxes to try to pull a lovely secret rare because uh, if you've watched the previous booster box videos, we've had a little bit of trouble trying to get good cards out of them. So we're diving back into another elite trainer box and uh i'll mention right at the beginning of the video as you can see back there quick little uh sneak peek at thursday's video that's right our magic fans are getting some love two weeks in a row because it is the early release of dungeons and dragons the set uh they are crossing with magic the gathering to uh do a whole set relevant to that i know a lot of people are gassed because they love dungeons and dragons um they love magic the gathering Personally, I know nothing about either, so we're going to do that video Thursday. Should be a good time. But, uh, so yeah, we're getting in a chilling rain. We're still trying to pull an alternate art or, frankly, any secret rare. I've seen my girlfriend pull two, and I have pulled zero. So let's see. Let's dive right into a pack and see what we can make happen. So here we go. Water, energy. It's, like, weirdly dry in here, so I can't grab the cards. Agatha, Fog, Crystal, Larvesta, Mareep, Heracross, Clobopus, Grookey, Reverse Hollow Cybold and a Porygon Z, a regular Hollow, nothing too special there. Um, it's funny because I feel like we've already done so much Chilling Rain, but I pulled so little from it. But uh, we're gonna keep grinding it because we have roughly a month before Evolving Skies on the 27th of August. Super excited about that set. We're gonna go crazy with it. So until then, we're mixing in some magic. I have some of the new Digimon TCG I want to open. Probably going to mix in maybe some other stuff uh, around the Pokemon. Uh, we're still going to do Pokemon too. Just I don't want to keep feeding you guys Chilling Rain. I might try to cop some Vivid Voltage or something else that's being printed. And uh, we'll see what we can pull on the way. Grookey hitting the stump. Sneasel, Reverse Hollow Frostless, and Wall Rain. Hopefully today Chilling Rain gives us a little bit of love because I... Just, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like the pull rates on this are so bad. Like, people were complaining about Battle Styles pull rates being bad, but this set is just, like, wow. And I mean, the ETBs I've opened have done decently well, two, three, four pulls per. So we'll see if we can keep that trend going today. Steeny, Rugged Helmet, Marie, Routes, Cast Form, Rainy Form, Snover, Yamask, Gallade, and here we go, a Volcanion V, nothing I haven't already seen, but it is still a pull, so I will not complain. There we go, the first pull. We are one for three so far in this ETB, and if you don't already know what comes in ETB, well, watch one of my hundred other videos. You get the dice, you get the counters, you get the awesome uh, dividers to divide up your decks, energy cards. Here is the code card for the box if you're into that, and some awesome sleeves. But we already have like four or five sets of the same pair of sleeves, so we're not uh, not going too crazy about that. I just feel like I can't open the box and not show you guys what is in the box. But uh, if by some chance this, geez, why does that keep happening? If by some chance this is your first video here, uh, we do these openings twice a week, so be sure to subscribe down below. Leave a like while you're down there and leave a comment. Let me know if you think Chilling Rain is as bad with the pulls as I do. Rugged Helmet, Porygon, Swirlix on the Donut, Sneasel, playing some Fruit Ninja. Snover looks like he's actually punching fruit from Sneasel. Are they just destroying all the fruit in the uh, frozen tundra? We have Blitzel out in the ocean, Hatena Reverse, and Rapid Strike Urshifu Hollow. Really cool card, but I have seen it so, so many times already. Onto a lovely Galarian Articuno pack. I would love to see the Galarian Articuno uh, alternate art. I, frankly, I'd love to see any alternate art, but uh, we will see what happens. With the money I put into the set, it would have been easier just to buy all the alt arts. But what fun is that, guys? I really do like the thrill of the hunt. The opening uh, is really the fun part for me. Blitzel, Quillfish, Galarian Slowpoke, Weedle doing crunches on the tree branch, Clobopus, Reverse All Impact Energy, really cool looking card, and Saw's Buck, the, uh, the buck running around in the frozen woods. Here we go with a Shadow Rider. Calyrex, two more packs after this one, guys. Just a quick opening today. Waiting on more cards to be coming in, and then the videos will get a little bit more spicy. Like I said, we're going to try to mix it up with some different sets. We'll see what 
what I can find, metal, energy, Steeny, Karen's Conviction, Weeding Gloves, Larvesta, Inke, the best common card in the set where he's juggling the groceries, Rock Rough, Blaine in the Snow, Ghastly, Lediba, Reverse Hollow Fire Resistant Gloves, and Slurpuff, nothing too special there. Two more packs to go, and then we will get into Cody's single shelf. I may or may not have an alternate art from a different set to show you guys, so get excited for that. That is at the end of every video where I show you guys a card from my collection that I have added off camera that you didn't see me pull. Water Energy, Peony, Galarian Chestplate, Caitlin, Inke, Diglett, Score Bunny pushing the snowball, Shuppet, Cub Fu, Reverse Hollows Feel, and a Scolipede, the weird little worm thing where you can't tell which is his head and which is his butt. I had that mistake the first time looking through the viewfinder because I could not tell what was going on in the image. Let's take out the cards, open it up. Four to the front, and this is the final pack. Actually, we went through this one very quickly, guys. We have a Dark Energy, Agatha, Rapid Strike, Scroll of the Skies, Dinah Tree Hill, Hatena, Sobble, Bounce Sweet, Furfro, Diglett, Reverse Hollow Sneasel, and to finish it off, a Boring Golurk. So we did do one for eight, which is crappy, but do not worry, guys, because it is time for Cody's Single Shelf, the segment, again, where I show you guys a single I've added to the collection off camera, something very special, a card I really wanted when it was revealed from Battle Styles, the Empoleon V alternate art rapid strike card and of course if you've been following the channel i did pull tyranitar three times this was the other alt art that was very sought after uh, excluding the urshifu ones and i ran to it at my local card shop it was like 30 bucks had to have it guys like i said i really wanted this card so bad when it came out we got empoleon posing with uh mind Fu or whatever the fighting pokemon is and the little phalanx the boys just playing all around him on his wings and stuff and just it's a super cool card i like empoleon i'm glad to see he's coming back into the tcg as they like to cycle some of the the less popular pokemon in and out but uh wig good condition obviously has to be expected it's a newer card probably pack fresh right into his sleeve as most cards are nowadays which is really awesome in my opinion because i'd rather a good condition card uh that's not super expensive than a bad one that is really expensive but uh neither here nor there that is the empoleon v alternate art from battle style so the only ones i'm missing now are the urshifu ones which i'm not going to go too crazy after if i run into them cool if not that's fine, but Battle Styles, I've kind of gotten the cards I've wanted from it, so we won't be opening too much of that. But that is enough talking. There's the Empoleon. And then our only pull from today, a lonesome Volcanion V. It feels bad, man. But uh, always fun to open these cards with you guys. Sorry today's video was a little bit more lull than usual. But we'll ramp it on Thursday with the Dungeons & Dragons box. We're going to open half of it. And then, obviously, we're going to kick it right back up with more Pokemon as I have some on the way. And that's all there is to it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. And that's it, guys. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay tuned for the next video.